Hey everyone, I'm Jason, and this is your commentary on Exodus chapter 17. The whole community of Israel started out from the desert of Sin. They traveled from place to place, just as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there wasn't any water for the people to drink. So they argued with Moses. They said, Give us water to drink. Moses replied, Why are you arguing with me? Why are you putting the Lord to the test? But the people were thirsty for water there, so they told Moses they weren't happy with him. They said, Why did you bring us up out of Egypt? Did you want us, our children, and our livestock to die of thirst? Then Moses cried out to the Lord. He said, What am I going to do with these people? They are almost ready to kill me by throwing stones at me. The Lord answered Moses. He said, Walk on ahead of the people. Take some of the elders of Israel along with you. Take in your hand the wooden staff you used when you struck the Nile River. Go. I will stand there in front of you by the rock at Mount Horeb. Hit the rock. Then water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses hit the rock in the sight of the elders of Israel. Moses called the place Massa and Meribah. That's because the people of Israel argued with him there. They also put the Lord to the test. They asked, Is the Lord among us or not? Water was essential for life. Without it, you couldn't have life. It was so important that throughout the Bible, they actually used the image of water for salvation, for eternal life. Jesus even refers to himself in John as being the water of life, a living well that if it is in us, it gives us eternal life that springs up from within. So this is an image of People who are in a desert, kind of like Christians, were originally in a spiritual desert. We're looking for this eternal life, this salvation. And we have to go to a place uh, and depend completely upon God in order to receive this living water. Immediately after this happens, it says the Amalekites came and attacked the Israelites at Rephidim. So they go from a point where they finally receive this salvation, this living water, and they're immediately thrown into a battle. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men, then go out and fight against the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill. I'll stand there with the staff of God in my hands. Now the Amalekites are descendants of Esau. The Israelites are descendants of Jacob. The two were brothers. They are often used as imagery. Esau is all about the flesh. It's about physical. But Jacob is all about the spirit. And so you have a battle that goes on the moment they receive this water between the flesh and the spirit. So Joshua fought against the Malachites, just as Moses had ordered. Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. Now, Aaron is the brother of Moses. And it's believed that her is the husband of Miriam. Miriam is the sister of Aaron and Moses. As long as Moses held his hands up, the Israelites were winning. But every time he lowered his hands, the Malachites began to win. So in this battle between the flesh and the spirit, as long as we have our hands raised in prayer, then we, we're actually going to win in the spiritual battle that goes on. Whenever we take our eyes off of God and we start lowering our hands, we're no longer in prayer, that's when the flesh is going to start winning. When Moses' arms got tired, Aaron and Hur got a stone and put it under him. Then he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up. Aaron was on one side and Hur was on the other. Moses' hands remained steady until sunset. Now, two things to note here. It goes all the way until sunset. So this battle that goes on is going to be until, quite literally, the end of our days. In addition to that, it's one thing to say that we need to be in prayer. Uh, But often, we try and do it on our own. Uh, We can't always make it on our own. We're going to get tired. And so God, by having Aaron and her here, shows us that it's okay to have help. It's okay to have other people come alongside us and help us be in prayer. So Joshua destroyed the Malachite army with swords. Then the Lord said to Moses, 
That is something to be remembered. So write it on a scroll. Make sure Joshua knows you have done it. I will completely erase the memory of the Malachites from the earth. Then Moses built an altar. He called it, The Lord is my banner. He said, I raise my hands toward the throne of the Lord. The Lord will fight against the Malachites for all time to come. Not only were they in prayer, did they have their hands up that allowed them to win against the Malachites, but after the battle, they write it down so that way they can remember it. It's good to be in prayer, but it's also good to be thankful and to remember what God has done for us. That's going to help us in our future spiritual battles as well, to remember how God's already carried us through the battles we have gone through, and he's faithful to continue. That is it for commentary on Exodus chapter 17. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.